Hi hey everyone, this is Angga Rizky from Indonesia and welcome back to my video in YouTube and I'm so happy because I just got email from Invision that I have early access for Invision Studio so let's check out that email here yeah so this is the you early access to Invision Studio starts now very nice Invision Studio maybe you watch my previous video that I told you Efficient there is like sketch and flinta we combine it together very nice but i haven't tried yet so we're gonna try it together so yeah welcome to efficient studio we're looking forward working with you wow just get studio now we click here and it should be going to the onboarding that they asking to you the personal information for from your the tech information so basically, I will write my name here, Anga Rizky, and my email with the email company is afana.asia. This is uh, my company in Malaysia, it's Afana Asia. So I agree on it. And your Infusion Studio experience begins now. My password. Yeah, so this is the design of Infusion App Studio. And you can see there's download and or play video. So I want to download it and this option that oh the windows unfortunately is still coming soon but it's only available in the Apple Mac OS but don't worry it's coming soon okay so I'm still downloading and maybe I'm gonna to show you after I finish my okay yeah so this is the Infusion Studio that we can click here and file and new wow pretty nice but I'm going to show you the full like this. So this is the welcome home. And basically you can open your current design from the sketch app to the Invision. But of course the design is not really good. Okay. Well then we can create the basic design. But firstly I have prepared one images here. This is movie cover from Taylor Kids Battleship. Okay, so we're going to create by iPhone SE, my favorites. Oops. Okay. So this is the workspace of the Invision Studio, and maybe you think that you couldn't see anything in the left only pages and the layer, and in the right only for the uh, what's that? inspector okay and there's no tool such as vector rectangle oval or yeah something like that actually you can see here so basically Infusion Studio helps us to remember everything for its single tools that we we are using for the uh, UI design so yeah here for selector, rectangle, font, oval, this is basic. If you are using the sketch app before that we have uh, remember this, uh, sorry, those tools already. So yeah, pretty nice. And this is the name of the, it's artboard. And this is zoom. And you can select by uh, tools like here. Okay. And this is for uh, mirror to the device, iPhone or Android. And this is preview and this is you can share it to Invision. Pretty cool. Now we're going to create the basic design with the Invision. So this is our first time. Now this is my first time actually and this is so you are maybe. So we just double click here. Sorry. And this is screen A. So I'm going to create a design for two screens that we can interaction with the Invision and uh, sorry yeah with the Invision Studio. So that's the create interaction. But firstly, I want to create the design here. Maybe that we can create the rectangle for the background. Press R. Okay, and after that, there's the inspector of its properties. So there's the blending of the color. You can overlay, 
or the color ducts and this is normal and this is the radius of the corners okay and this is the point that you want to make it responsive or not so we just need setting the default like this this is the strokes but we call it uh, borders but in this infusion you call it strokes like the adobe illustrator cool and this is the inner shadow and the last one interaction and exportable so first i'm going to change this color to gradient so there's two options for the linear and radial so i'm going to use radial so i'm select the first color which is the top one and i will use the document color mm, maybe i can try with blue but it's not really blue maybe here and then I can copy this hex code and select the bottom ones and to pass your hex code and after that I want to make it more dark like this okay and after that I want to create the label here so firstly you have to group this layer and change the name by common R and this is for the background sorry bg is background and this is bg background and then i want to save it first sample okay this so fast it's not really he heavy so we're going to create a label by press shortcut t movies i'm going to use the font type which is montserrat okay and then change the color to the white color and change the font size about 32 nice i'm going to move here oh yeah unfortunately sorry unfortunate unfortunately you couldn't see the distance of its layer even your you are pressing lt option yeah, if you are using the sketch app, you can, uh, you, you are able to see the distance of the margin. So you couldn't see anything here. Yeah, it's, it's okay for the early access. Maybe in the future that they will update their function. Okay, cool. Now we're going, this is for the title. I'm going to group it, title. Okay and then i want to make the list of item first i want to create the rectangle i'm going to make it full like this and setting the height is 70 and of course here i'm trying to use the operator arithmetic so minus by 12 sorry minus by 20 and minus by 20 and make to the center oops we put here yeah so you can see the distance like this but if you want to setting the distance by manually without mouse you can you couldn't so you have to use your mouse and drag the elements it's complicated for me i think all right i'm going to setting it to uh 70 okay and then i'm going to group it as the item and this is for the background and this is for the background item okay and in the background item i want to setting the radius to eight and change the color of background to be white and i think i need the shadow but the shadow is not uh, really appears on the screen because the background uh, it it's too dark so well here change the blur to 10 and the opacity should be 25 yeah but you couldn't see anything because the background is too dark well I want to press shortcut I to load the images from the desktop and CV1 and you can make it small small and small 
okay I want to make it small like this okay nice okay and after that I want to give the name is CV number one okay that's enough and beside of this picture that I want to create I want to add something here for label of its items so by press shortcut T and this is better shit and change the color to the 3333 and of course I'm going to change to the Roboto because I want to use different color, different font type and this is the like version and the font size should be small maybe 22 no maybe 18 I'm going to use regular okay and common D to uh, duplicate and change it to small 14 and change the regular to the like and this is a file label okay so you can watch it to uh, watch it today I'm going to group it as the description this okay nice and after that in the battle sheet that I want to duplicate again and change the text alignment to the right and I'm going to make to make the price here okay and change the color the color of the price to be green it's pretty nice I want to duplicate this and move to the bottom and I'm going to change this item to item number two okay and duplicate again and this is item number three so actually I can easily to change the information of its item but it's gonna take a long time so so at the moment that we can use the dummy content here okay we're going to duplicate this screen a eh, by command D and I change it to screen B I remove those items just leave the item okay and after that select this background white color and make it bigger like this okay and make it like this uh, like this okay that's enough and then for those description I can move here and the press should be in the right like this and the picture that I want to make it more bigger than before I make to the like this okay pretty nice and those information I can move okay and after that I want to add the button here to buy a ticket so yeah we create by rounded rectangle tool by press shortcut U and here we go this is the button btn by okay and the colors we can take it from this blue but I don't think it's good for the design so I'm going to use green okay and height of the button is to be 45 I'm going to add the label is by now and the color should be white with the font type is Montserrat and the light should be regular with the font size is 18 or I'm going to change that label to buy tickets nice 
and this radius I think I can make it like this okay and after that I will select this button to make to the top to keep the margin is pixel perfect like this so how gonna do oh, sorry how can make the interaction of design it's pretty simple just select this item and press interaction create interaction by shortcut C or you can also click here so I'm going to use shortcut C here and select the target to see screen B okay and you can select the screen A to B with the edit transition so this is the default transition like this okay this is pretty easy to do but I want to fix that by tickets so what I gonna do to copy this by btn by and go to screen A and move to the top sorry to the middle and setting the opacity to the zero so when we try it sorry oh it doesn't affect well in this current design is not really good because the buy ticket button it always appear on the first screen so yeah i want to try to fix it first i select the item and just click right to delete the interaction and after that we remove this buy ticket and we can uh sorry we can copy this and just press like this but we put it on this layer now i want to try again screen a and save can we apply it okay so in this screens i'm going to setting the opacity to the zero okay pretty nice is it yeah so how we can do the timing of the interaction so there's the inspector of its layer that we can set in the timing okay maybe this delay should be 10 seconds so for the 10 seconds the design should be uh, appear of the buttons so we're waiting for the 10 seconds and this appear like this pretty nice but I think it's so slow <laughs> so we change it to uh, two seconds and we play again here one two like this nice so that's the timing basic timing that you can use it well thank you very much for watching this video and I hope it was useful for you don't forget to like comment and share it with your friends and please let me know if you have uh, other discussion related the Infusion Studio. Well, see you next video. Goodbye.